Hello everyone. Here we will see the example of given hypothesis is consistent or not. For we will take the given uh, statement. A hypothesis H is consistent with the set of training examples given in the data set uh, of target concept C if and only if whenever H of X is equal to C of X for each and every training examples. H of X and its uh, corresponding C of X in data set D. So here we have given the set of training examples, uh, two examples given and uh, the these features are coming as a uh, X and this one is uh, by is the C of X. So with respect to each and every training example, we have to prove that H of X equal to C of X. Now uh, we have to see the given definition as a notation consistent of any hypothesis H with respect to given data set D for all training samples uh, with uh, with the x comma its corresponding uh, cor corresponding c of x uh, target concept belongs to given data set so here always h of x equal to c of x we will take the given hypothesis h1 which is already given in the problem statement with uh, uh, five values so uh, we have to see h1 is consistent or inconsistent with respect to the given uh, data set D which is having set of samples two number of samples so here this is the x1 this is x2 now we will take the hypothesis here and we should identify h1 of x1 is uh, uh, given no or uh, yes so we will take the x1 so here question symbol uh, we are we have given here then here it is a scopus accepting any value and conjunction of constraints so then this is question symbol which is accepting any value here it is a no no here question symbol which is accepting any value here it is a many which is given in the hypothesis but it is a one so h1 of x1 is giving you false value that is no but here uh, c of x1 also no so c of x1 also no so both are satisfying h of x1 equal to c of x1 so it is consistent with respect to training sample one then you check the x2 so x2 also here uh, quotient symbol which is accepting any value then here also quotient symbol then it is accepting any value and here it is a no here also it is a no and here it is a question symbol it is accepting any value here it is a money it's a many it is also many so h1 of x2 is now we got true or yes c of x2 also yes so both are satisfying h of x2 equal to c of x2 so given hypothesis is consistent with the training examples x1 and x2 like that we will see another one example given hypothesis h2 is consistent or inconsistent here h2 is having question symbol question symbol no question symbol and question symbol so here we will check with the sample number one x1 h2 of x1 is here question symbol question symbol so it is accepting any value from the x1 here it is a no so it is accepting any value and question symbol accepting any value here also question symbol accepting any value so here which is giving the true h1 of h1 of uh, h1 of x1 is h2 of x1 is here giving true okay but uh, here c of x1 is no no means false okay so here c2 or c, c c of x1 is no that means false so both are not equal what is the uh, condition h of x1 should be equivalent to c of x1 so with respect to given data uh, training example x1 the given hypothesis h2 is inconsistent but it is satisfying the uh, x2 sample so you look at that question symbol accepting any value here also no here also no uh, here question symbols accepting any values so it is also true H H one of uh, H two of X two H two of X two is true and uh, C of X two also true here C of X two also 
true here but even though this both are uh, equal the first sample is not satisfied now so that's why this hypothesis is inconsistent with uh, with respect to given data set d thanks for watching